heard it kick in. Water current is very strong. Ooh, I can feel it trying to push me, especially with the loose gravel in the pipe. Is there damage on the pipe anymore? Am I help us? Can you see it everyone today we're back in Maine it is 77 degrees nice sunny day a break from all the rain we've been having uh, but the forecast we got like five more days of just washouts I'm so happy we're getting so much rain and of course I see high water levels we have another beaver issue today there are a lot of tourists on the road already usually this time of year we wouldn't be on these roads as much because usually now that we're into the beginning of summer, it becomes more dry. You know, not as many blockages. Beavers are not as active. Oh, but they are, they're very active if you get a, running over a tree. Um, if you get a summer rainstorm, they love warm weather with lots of water. That's when they're most active. So we got a lot more rain coming. So that means more blockages will be here. I'm checking on it today after less than a week, but I'm sure it's gonna be pretty big my last trail camera footage, it showed they did the majority of the blockage in like two hours, despite how big it was. So we have another camera we're gonna pull out of here today and I'll be able to show you guys that footage. And yeah, there's a lot of tourists on the road and the roads are a little dusty. It only takes one sunny day to make dust storms on these roads. Doesn't matter if it just rained yesterday. But the good news is this section of road the vast majority of tourists cannot come down it. If you've seen my last video of this location, there's a bridge out. You have to drive through a rocky river to even get here. 
Today, I got good news. We finally got a welder to build us a bigger gas tank for the vehicle. Instead of the factory 20-something gallons, we can now carry 50-something gallons of fuel. Welder just finished that today, and I picked it up. He, he thought it was going to be like an 8-hour job, but it ended up being like a 30-hour job. Evap canister and all kinds of other stuff had to be replaced because it was in the way. So now we have a bigger range. For anyone who knows, when I'm out in the wilderness, I usually carry six or eight five-gallon gas cans. And sometimes they spill, and that is not a good thing. So now, the, the majority of the time, we don't need a gas can anymore. Because now I now have the equivalent of about two and a half tanks on board. Just fill it up at the pump. But sometimes when I'm deep in the wilderness, I'll bring the gas cans. Because I'm used to carrying four tanks of gas. was That was the equivalent with my old car. But a bigger car uses more gas, so it's harder to carry that. Even with the gas cans, that's only three and a half fill-ups. Not the same range as before. So we have a beaver dam. This one's very green. Look at this. There's a dragonfly here. Stuck in this spider guy's nest. Look at that. Oh, he's still alive. That spider's going to have a good meal. So, that looks like an orb weaver, maybe. So we got a blockage here to remove. Decent amount of water pressure. Hasn't rained in a few days, but they still got a good amount coming in. So, we got a trail camera in here we're going to pull out today. And we're going to see what the beavers did. Now, last time I put the trail camera in this location, I went ahead and left it on time lapse. It made us a little video clip every 30 minutes. We put them together for time lapse, but because the beaver built back so fast in only about two hours, you know, it wasn't a great time lapse. But this time it's motion sensing, so the beaver should be in literally every clip. I just saw a little tadpole move away in the water. Yeah, there's some tadpoles in this water. This might be good news for them today because this little thing will probably dry up in the summer heat in the coming weeks. Hopefully these guys today can get blasted down to the next beaver pond, which is not too far. Wow, look at this wall of debris here. This is from us unclogging over the past couple, like last two months. And some of it's from the excavator when they have to come out here. Some of it's from me two years ago with different beavers that they trapped. But see, as time goes on, I just keep pushing it to the side. This wall's gonna go way down there pretty soon. It's a little more challenging every time. Just so much of it. But we just wanna keep an open channel so it doesn't back up into the pipe because we need that beneficial pressure. See, one time I threw it up in there, and another time I, I'm just making little piles. Got a big pile over there, got a big pile over here. So I gotta get my big high boots on, obviously. How did this get down here? I think I already know, and hopefully it's on camera. I made a video a while back where I was showing the beavers, every time they build something, it would just wash away. They couldn't really build a dam. I'm thinking that may have got pulled through the pipe because they tried building when there was too much blasting because the last time we unclogged was like our best and easiest one we ever did here because this thing had a bunch of water pouring over the dam. That was during a rainstorm. You see there's barely anything in here now, but just give me like 20 minutes in here and this pipe will be half full raging. So I'm going to go gear up, get my big high boots on, and we'll get started with this. It's a pretty hot day, so this won't be the best working condition. You see the pipe's only in the ground a couple of inches. It's baking like the beach. That pipe is going to be so hot in there. It doesn't matter that there's no sun in there. It just bakes through, and this pipe is going to be like an oven, and it's not going to be fun. I'm partially ready to do this. Game Warden out here likes to go off-roading. He must have went through that blockage unless he went the real long way around it. He saw me putting the high boots on and he tried asking me for a fishing license which I don't have because I don't go fishing. I haven't gone since I was like 10. And I explained to him what I was doing and I showed him the blockage and stuff and he's going to make sure to report that one. 
because look at this. This whole place is flooded again, and it's only been five days since I was last here. These beavers are not going to give up on this place. They need to be relocated to a place where they can be beneficial. Beavers build these ponds, which are huge. They flooded back so far. There's another swamp up there I've showed before. And beaver ponds are heavy. That's pushing down a lot into the aquifer, keeping the forest healthy around it. So it's better just to move them deeper in the woods where they won't affect the road because I don't plan on coming back to this area again now for maybe a month. I just won't be in the area. And a month, this is the most likely place I'm seeing. They rebuilt the road up there because it washed out years ago, like two years ago. They made it so high that this will be the new crossing point. The road will get taken out here. They purposely build it low here instead of the pipe. The pipe is a little bit high because if there's a washout, they want it to be not involving the pipe, which will cost considerably more money to do. And if this washes out, all they got to do is a couple dump trucks and a grader. They could have the road back open in a few hours. Not a big deal. But you already see water in the edge of the road. Over time, it might. But now that we're getting into summer, pretty soon they might not even have the water to do it. But spring set us up really good. We've been getting a lot of rain. Have a lot more rain in the forecast. Last time I discovered, it looks like there's an old culvert here. But it's pretty collapsed and it's been clogged a long time. You see there's a very little trickle. And look at all that iron bacteria coming out of there. For anyone who lives in a place with a lot of clay, mainly in the south, a lot of people think when I show things like this, it's clay. It's not. This is iron bacteria. It's all over the place because iron is present probably from a rusting out corrugated pipe. The bacteria will literally eat it over time. But it's harmless, this bacteria. You can drink it. It's in my well water. We get this stuff building up in the toilets and stuff, and it wipes off pretty easy. Most people are drinking it in their water anyways, but it's harmless. Got the rake. And we're all set. Let's take a walk over here. It's amazing how all the tourist traffic just stopped after the washout. No more cars parked in random spots along the road. Just can't make it down here this time of year. Well, they can, but not many people know the detours, which involve roads that don't look very traveled. So, let's see how I want to do this. This will be an old-fashioned like video. We don't have camera number two, because I didn't intend on coming here today. Oh, wow. This is going to be a cool one. That dragonfly is still trying to get away. Why is Mr. Spider not coming down and dealing with this? Can this guy fly? Let's see if we can release it. Yep, yep, he flew away. Dragonfly is free. There's a lot of cave spiders too. See them on the ceiling? Alright, so... This one doesn't look like it involves as many sticks. Maybe they're running out of supplies. This looks more mud. And the dam is not as big as certain ones, but who knows what could be underneath this stuff. So we're going to start this up. I'm just going to put you guys on the outside here. I have a mag magnetic tripod. And I'm going to probably pull some of it out right now. Maybe this way. But most of it I think I'm going to get down behind the dam. Or below the dam. Yeah, look at this. This is so fresh. But... The water is also keeping it alive. As long as this is in the bottom like flowers in a vase, it'll stay... Wow, just removing that, I can already hear a trickle. Here's another pretty fresh one. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be easy. Yeah, let's get inside. Look at that, the beaver even put a water iris in here. Hopefully we blast that downstream and it replants itself somewhere. As long as it's a wet place, it'll replant itself. Those are pretty hardy plants. So I'm going to go in the other side. I'm going to set up a light like halfway through. I'm going to go for a walk. See ya. Ah! 
big spider web. There's a lot of debris in here that's like, it has branches, it's not just sticks. So, this will be interesting. Got the light going. A whole pine tree is in here that they uprooted. The mosquitoes, uh, they're in here. And I didn't put bug spray on, but I won't be that long. Woo! Yeah, they put whole trees in here. They cut down a bunch of actual trees. But the majority of the debris is smaller. I hope that means easier to pull apart. Maybe more tedious. Usually smaller weavings are stronger. Just keep pulling. Yet this pipe is very hot, like I predicted. It's probably hotter in here than it is outside. Let's just turn this camera here. Put this off to the side. We don't need the trail camera footage right now. Let's just try to remove anything that might weaken the bottom of the dam before we start pulling it apart. The things with the branches might be a good thing for drag. The water will help pull a lot of it out, I think, maybe better. The things I'm picking up now, the bigger things, are waterlogged. I think the beavers were storing them in the bottom of their pond. That's why they're heavy and would sink. Oh, that's a big one. There's some pretty nasty, slimy things in here today. That's a big one. Another whole tree. Wow, that's a brand new pine tree. Not dead or anything. Beavers don't use pine unless they're desperate. It means they might be running out of good viable supplies. Pine tastes nasty to a beaver. They don't eat that like they do. They eat the bark off other ones. That's why so many of these sticks look, they're like polished, like a walking stick. Yeah, this dam is not as big as the others. Not by far. Whoa, what did I touch? Oh, there's a big old leech on this one. What did I touch? There's mushrooms also. Uh, uh, big one. This one's jammed. It might have a branch on the end of it. Come on. Back. Boom. Uh, back and forth. Almost got it. Come on. I gotta watch myself. It's very hot in here. I might need a break on this one. So stubborn. Stubborn one. Come on. Not coming out yet. It's too jammed. Let's try to get some water going. Yep, this smaller weaving is kind of bad. Beavers usually build back stronger because they think their dam is failing. They don't know you're taking it out. Uh, there's slugs mixed in with this too. It's not hard to wash off slug slime if your hand was already wet. But if your hand's dry and you touch one, Sticks pretty well. Maybe next time we won't have to do this one. Ah! Hopefully that game warden can solve this problem like they did two years ago. You see how I'm just throwing everything behind me? It's no longer put together well. It should just go right through. I got my hopes up too early. This is a bad one, mainly because it's so hot in here.
Another root ball. That big one's moving finally. The water made it a little cooler in here. It's making friction with the air, meaning we got a little bit of wind. The whole blockage is starting to come out now. You see how the water's building up, going slower? We gotta get that pile out of here. There's not that much water current this time, which is a problem. There's still a lot of dam in here. Mosquitoes are getting me. Uh, mm. in here I have to leave <sighs> I'm already sweating like a pig <sighs> not a good one now we got to go to the far end and start pulling that garbage out I really hope the game warden gets rid of these things these beavers are being a huge problem here this year Next time I'm gonna purposely come here like last time during a rainstorm because that made it so easy getting this stuff out of here. You need a rainstorm. So now by hand I'm gonna pull out what I can and throw it up top. Oh let's get the camera back in here somewhere. Yeah, see how it just got jammed here? This will come out pretty easily, and then it'll make so much current, whatever's left of the dam should just come through. I'm going to set you guys back up in here. The whole pile I'm moving on. Wow. Back in. Alrighty. Up on the ceiling. Turn the camera light around. Here we go. Let's start pulling it out manually now. Look how they're able to push it. Look at this. There's a lot. I always, I almost ate a fly again. 
That always happens at this location. Trying to get everything out so we don't have to unplug downstream again. I could pull this out right now, but I'm gonna like kind of block it so I can throw everything out of here. trying to push, but my foot is blocking it. Once we get the sticks, I'll just let the slots go through. We got most of them. All right, I can't hold that back. Here we go, all of it's moving. Now that's gonna make current down where the dam originated. Oh, here it comes. The whole thing is coming. Awesome. We don't have to do anything now. Here it comes. Let's get some of that. Amazing. We have barely any work downstream because I got most of it out. Wow, this water is so dirty, it's still eroding part of the dam. Water current is strong. We're going to go check, see if there's anything left. Water current is not as strong as last time, so we might have something. Powerful magnet. Whoa, spider in my hair again. There's a lot of spiders in here today. So, see? Not really causing a problem what we sent downstream. Barely any sticks, it's mostly sludge. There's just not a lot of current to push it. But you see, I can kind of move it around. But this is gonna hopefully be reported. It's too hot out, I think I'm just gonna leave it. I wanna get back in there and make sure the dam's completely gone. We'll make sure never to come here on a hot day again. But this is moving. I think this is gonna give itself, especially if there's anything else blocking it. Uh, I just need a chance to cool down. Then I'll get back in here. Oh, see it moving? It's about to, because as more stuff erodes, it's packing against it like a sail. I see movement. Let's just see if we kick it a little bit. Wow, this water's deeper than you think. Here it goes, go on downstream. It's mostly just slop, not even really sticks. 
Doesn't take much to move it. That weighs hundreds of pounds, this slop. But it's just got so much pressure behind it. It's just getting stuck on things like this tree. As I, I really don't know if, if we're going to have a big problem here in a month. I actually doubt they'll take care of it themselves. Highly doubt it. Good enough. This road wouldn't be here anymore if we didn't keep up with this over the past two weeks. It would have easily got pushed out. Look at the water. It's like orange from the beaver pond. There's just so much rotting debris in it. I see a stick down there. You gotta make sure everything's out. If there's anything left in here, the beavers will reinforce it in a weird spot. I'm hitting rocks, but that's about it. All the rocks in here were probably put here by the beavers. They use them in their dams. There's actually enough of them I'm standing on, reducing headroom. Uh, let's just make sure the dam is completely gone. Anything left? Doesn't feel like it. Yeah, whole thing pushed out. Just awesome. That was awesome. So now, almost two feet of water, maybe, oh, there's still things getting pushed. Maybe 18 inches. I don't think that's quite two feet. It's a four foot pipe. Not quite. You know, it's not even the temperature today. It's the humidity. Really high and oppressive. It's like over 60% humidity. I'm already sweating pretty badly. At least there's a nice breeze out here. I gotta get something to drink. I already got a little bit of a heat stroke because like I said, see this pipe is made out of metal. This is like almost hot enough to burn you. I can't leave my hand on it for long. But you see the pipe is less than a foot buried across the road. Whole road is really hot, like sand at a beach. So this thing's like an oven. It's probably 20, 30 degrees hotter in there. Something's coming, it's big. No, nope. I thought it was a log truck at first, the way the engine sounded. ATVs. Those guys can get through any washouts they come across. It's about to say. You know, at first I thought it was a log truck. It wasn't. Log truck can't go down this road. And it can't go down the detours either. It wouldn't make it. All right. The water passing through makes it a lot colder. I'm hearing another ATV about to go over us now. Grab this camera. We can go edit this in the car. Put it at the beginning of the video. Go grab this light. If any of you are interested, wow, the whole thing vibrates when they go over me. Not very deep in the ground. So, if anyone's interested in my trail cameras or any equipment I use, it's in the description down below. Trail cameras work really good with rechargeable batteries. Keep in mind, buy like an Energizer. Don't buy Duracell. They're slightly bigger batteries and they're too tight in the battery compartment. It won't touch the terminals properly, which makes the camera unreliable. So this is where the road got pushed out last year. See how they built it up a lot? Water levels dropping. Not leaving a camera behind this time. Look at the pile we just got out of there. Good amount. Yeah, I'm gonna purposely come during a rainstorm next time and we'll have enough current. It'll help us push what we left there and it'll help us really unclog. Unclogging during rainstorms is a bit more dangerous, but far easier. All right. There's no signs around here, nothing. I'm not 100% sure who even owns this culvert, what company owns this section of road. And I know about maybe 20 or maybe it's 30 miles away, the company I became friendly with is there, but I don't know who owns this one. 
All right, let's pack up, get back in the vehicle. We're not leaving anything behind today. It's not even hot in the car now. Only been out about a half an hour and I'm in the shade pretty much. I hate working on days like this. Yeah, most people are gonna make fun of me who live in the South, but this heat's not normal up here, so it comes as a shock. But it only takes a few days of this and I adjust pretty well. Does anyone think it would help in the vehicle at night if I just had like a box of ice with a fan blowing over it. I'm trying to make like a homemade swamp cooler, something that can stay on in here overnight. Because it can get pretty miserable when it's like over 65 at night. That's when I quite literally can't sleep in here. It just gets too humid. But we're gonna get back on the road now. Get the AC on. And get back on the road. Maybe we'll find something else cool today. Sometimes I forget I'm rear wheel drive. I just spun the wheels a bunch. Yeah, that was a successful time. Took the breath out of me being in that oven. Now we're going to go a different way today. We're going to take the long way. I don't want to drive through the river again. Maybe we'll find something cool instead of backtracking. I hope today's video was interesting, everybody. Thanks for watching and have a great day.